What do you do when you're not inspired to go out and take street photos? After a long week, I was looking for some inspiration, so I popped into a bookstore and came across this fantastic street photographer's manual. I was totally inspired by a short piece of advice I read at the beginning of this book. It says, I remembered a casual piece of advice I once gave to someone struggling with what to photograph on the street. My suggestion to get on a bus, watch the world go by, and get off when he saw something interesting was a revelation to him. It's also a really good idea for a video. So in today's street photography challenge, I'm gonna get on any bus, going in any direction, and I'm gonna get off when I see something interesting. This could be a complete success or an absolute failure. All I need to do now is find a bus. I'm gonna load up the computer and see what we got. Right, my hands are slowly defrosting here. I'm with the same setup as last week, which is the Sony a7 III and the Sony 35mm 2.8 lens. I jumped on the first bus I could see, heading in the direction of central London. After 15 minutes, we passed London Bridge. I knew that I could shelter here from the cold in Borough Market. I circled the market a few times and then spotted this hilarious sign, smell me. I thought it would be funny if it pointed down to some member of the public beneath it. So I positioned myself right in front of the sign and waited for someone to pass. I'm happy with this as a first shot. It has a good sense of humor, I think, and it just so happens that this woman had her hands over her mouth in the shot, like almost reacting to the sign, which was complete luck, by the way. Look for interesting and unusual signs or messaging and how it relates to people. So I spun around the corner looking for another shot. I love the atmospheric smoke that was coming from this burger stand. As you can see, I'm getting as close as I can to see if the smoke would create some interesting shapes. This shot looks great. The contrast of light is interesting, but for me as a piece of street photography, I feel it's missing some story or something surprising and unexpected. So I've been going now for about half an hour and wanted one last picture before I changed locations. So just as I was heading out to one of the exits, I spotted this plant shop. I thought it'd be cool if I framed this cactus so that it covers someone's body. I went really close to the cactus and manually focused on a lady standing further away. I adjusted the framing so the cactus took up her whole body. This is actually one of my favorite pictures from the morning. It's totally unexpected shot. She clearly looks very happy to be on top of a cactus. So many people were in this market taking pictures. So it was really important to me to, to try and take a picture that would be the complete opposite to what everyone else is taking. Look for interesting pictures. Put things in the foreground of the shot to play with perspective and framing. I finally decided to brave the rain outside and jumped on the first bus I saw. I noticed people walking below this traffic light. I wanted to see if someone would pass almost in the same pose as the green man. I love the perspective of this shot. It's like the person walking is mimicking the traffic light. The high angle perspective feels kind of different and unusual. In Lightroom, I cropped the photo, added some green hue, some clarity and contrast to make the photo pop a little bit more. So it turns out this bus was heading to Liverpool Street, which is actually quite a good thing because there's a really busy train station there. Just as I was getting off the bus, I spotted this lady protecting herself from the rain with this weirdly shaped umbrella. It's an interesting shot. I think it's funny how the umbrella is covering her whole face and yet her posture is so casual. She's actually clearly sheltered by the bus stop, so I don't even know why she's holding an umbrella at all. I entered the station via the top floor. I really wanted to find a shot looking down on people. I circled the station twice and then noticed the eyes on this girl's pink hat. 
I waited to see if she would look up or around to draw more attention to the eyes. I like this photo because it looks like the girl is looking at her reflection in this picture, or the eyes are at least looking at themselves. What might have made this picture even more interesting is if the little girl was looking at someone else wearing a hat with a face on it. Stop and find a vantage point. Where we take photographs from is as important as what we photograph. I've been sipping around on this photography challenge now for about two hours and I wanted to get at least one more shot before heading back home. I came out of the station and was passing some retail shops when I noticed this interesting set of four mannequins in a row and a bald member of staff folding clothes right in between them. I pulled up the camera and clicked as many photos as I could to see if he'd look up, and he did. It's as though he's looking curiously at the mannequins, as if to say, we look similar. I also like the reflections of the red bus in the window. It just adds some visual interest to the frame. It's definitely safe to say that the combination of patience and luck is at the heart of street photography. For me, I'm always looking for the unexpected humour in everyday life. Oh, and before I finish, here's a quick snippet of some other shots I managed to grab on this challenge. And that's about it for Street Photography Challenge 2. Just finishing up the edit here. I know this is only my second street photography video, but I already feel that I'm getting a better understanding of the practical and theoretical side of street photography. And more importantly, I think it's just going out and shooting and having a reason to take these pictures makes me look at things differently and all in all try and be a better photographer. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel. I hope to be creating a load more content this year. Um, I've really enjoyed making these first two videos and I've got something very exciting in store for the next one, which is a little bit different and involves my twin. <laughs>